I start off by saying this. Muslims are more Christian than most Christians. Uh, today I want to deviate again, but talk about a message that I think is really important and I feel compelled to um, do this video because it really bothers me. And I want to give my perceptions of the Muslim faith as compared to the Christian faith and how basically it's just about the same thing with one big difference, and I'll talk about that. You know, if I, if I continued living in the United States all these years and I never had the opportunity to live in the Middle East, my perceptions would not be like this. My perceptions would be consistent with what I hear on the news and the media, which is disappointing to hear many times. Yeah, they talk about extremists, but there's extremists everywhere, even in politics. Um, all I can tell you is I have never in my life, never in my life have I been treated with this much respect and kindness and graciousness and generosity and hospitality as the Saudi people have treated me. But let me get to the main point. I want to talk about Christianity and Muslims. I start out by saying this. Muslims are more Christian than most Christians. Muslims are more Christians than, more, than most Christians. Why? Do you know a Muslim cannot be a Muslim if they don't believe in Jesus? In fact, when they utter the name Jesus, they refer to him as Isa, they immediately say right afterwards, may peace be upon him, which is the same thing they do to the prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him. Jesus is mentioned throughout the entire Quran, and the prophet Muhammad felt closer to Jesus of all the prophets in the Bible, from Abraham to Moses to Noah to all the prophets. Um, they believe in the Immaculate Conception. And there's a whole chapter in the Quran devoted just to Mary, or Miriam as they refer to her as. And not only about Mary or Miriam, but it talks about her family, <laughs> where she came from, her parents. I never, I never learned that in all my years going to Catholic school and Catholic education. Um, and they believe that it's Jesus that's going to return. They see Jesus as the, as the Messiah, not the prophet Muhammad. When they pray, by the way, a lot of, a lot of Americans ask me this question, don't they pray to, to, to Muhammad? No, they don't pray to Muhammad. They pray to God. And here's the most important thing. They believe in one God. And is that what we, isn't that what we were taught? In fact, it's the first commandment of the Ten Commandments from Moses. One God, I am the Lord thy God, thou shalt not be a false God before me. That's the first commandment of Moses. As a Catholic, we were taught a prayer that said, uh, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth and all that is seen and unseen. One God. In fact, in the New Testament, in, in the Bible, Jesus said uh, in, in Mark, the first of all the commandments is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one Lord, excuse me for reading, and thou shalt love the Lord with all thy heart, all thy soul, all thy mind, and all thy strength. That's from Jesus. In Matthew, he says, you shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. Again in Matthew, um, it, does, it, it says, And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, um, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, Why do you call me good? There is none good but one, and that's God. But if you want to enter in, into eternal life, follow the commandments. I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but that's from Matthew chapter 19. And in Mark, in chapter 12, uh, And the scribe said unto him, Well, Master, thou hast said the truth. For there is one God, and there is none other but he. So even our Bible, the Christian Bible, talks about one God. And I remember learning about Jesus in the Catholic faith, and I remember whenever Jesus was troubled, he prayed to God, prayed to the Father. So that's really what I want to convey. We have so much in common. 
We both believe in one God. Muslims believe that Jesus was a great man, a great messenger, great prophet, probably the most important. It's just that Muhammad came after him. And the question, the sensitive question I would ask many Christians, do you believe Jesus was God? Uh, there's evidence from what I just read, and there's more, I just, read, I just picked a few, that Jesus referred to God the Father. It's about God the Father, not me. So Muslims and Christians believe in one God. Muslims cannot be a Muslim if they don't believe in Jesus. They believe in the Immaculate Conception, and Jesus is written throughout the Quran, and Mary has a whole chapter devoted to her in the Quran. That's my message for today. And uh, let me know what you think. And thank you very much for listening.